she is so, so thick. Here it is, man. Oh my gosh. Dude, they are so big. Look at them, man. Don't they look so freaking cool? I'm so gonna get made fun of. What's up YouTube? How is everyone doing today? I hope everyone's having a great day as always. So before we start this vlog, I want to tell you guys thank you very much for all the new Patreon members. If you guys are not uh, a Patreon member, if you guys want to be, make sure you guys go check out the description down below, my Patreon link. I will be doing some feeding videos, which is one tier. Then I have another tier of, you know, my business videos that I will be doing every Friday. At first, like I said, I thought I was going to do two to three uh, every month, but from the looks of it, I think I'm gonna do maybe four to five, just cause there's a lot of things I wanna talk about. I wanna talk about my experience first, and then I wanna talk about all the numbers and investments and get into like detail with stuff like that. Cause you guys know, I will be bringing a lot of people for this Patreon videos. But guys, before we get to this crazy unboxing that we have to go pick up, we all just sent some females today. And if any, if any tape that you see with the next, that means that these girls are already had their last lock. They're all we're waiting for is pretty much their um, ovulation. And then we're just gonna wait for some eggs. So I'm gonna show you guys all these things that we've done real quick. Cause to me, it's really, really exciting. Right here, we have a double head sunset albino bred to a double head sunset albino. So hopefully we'll be able to find out if we make that red snake. Next, we have this pastel yellow belly inchy pied. As you can see her, man, she is so, so thick. And again, all we're waiting is just for her ovulation. She was bred to a blackhead leopard lavender, 100% head pied. So all we want right here is to get all those visual pieds and then you know they're gonna be some crazy, crazy head lavender stuff. Of course we wanna get inchy, lavender, and to pied, and of course leopard, because it'll make that starburst snake. I mean, Justin just made some of those things were freaking crazy. And then we have this dreamsicle. She just got denovulating, so we're just waiting for her to have her pre-lay shed. She is a uh, lavender pied, and she was bred to my sunset clown. So this is my first time making quads. Pretty crazy, right? Next, we have these awesome freeways. Right here, we have a orange dream pastel inchy freeway, and she was bred to a black pastel asphalt head lavender, and she's done as well. And then right here we have a pastel freeway bred to the same male. So hopefully we had some crazy super asphalt like combos, like an OD super asphalt or a black pastel OD super asphalt. I mean, you guys know what I'm trying to get at, right? <laughs> Next we have another one that's really, really cool. She's about to ovulate herself. Right here we have a hypo puzzle and she was bred to a ODYB the desert goes pet hypo. So the key to this to get some orange dream, yellow belly hypos, which will be 100% head desert ghost puzzle. Well, double heads, that'll be pretty crazy, right? It's actually triple heads, but if I hit the visual hypo, it'll be double head puzzle DG. So I think it'll be pretty sick. Next, we have the spot nose desert ghost. You guys can see her right there. Another one that's waiting to um, ovulate. She was bred to the black pastel hypo clown, 66% head there's a ghost. She's the one that's gonna, you know, show us if he proves out or not. And if he does, that is gonna be a whole nother monster, man. That'll be so freaking cool. So this is the girl that's gonna give us our first clutch. She's already on her pre-lay shed. Right here we have a black pastel Mojave hypo. She was bred to the Mandarin Calico hypo. Mandarin Calico hypo. Yeah, that's gonna be a good one. All right, so come on over here. Next we have a Gotham, which is a Coral Glow Leopard Clown. She's about to ovulate. She was bred to a Sunset Clown. Hopefully we hit some Gotham females that are gonna be 100% head Sunset. That's gonna be sick. Next we have a Double Head Hypo Puzzle, bred to a Hypo Puzzle. And then we have, that's pretty much it, right? <laughs> yeah. So far, I mean, we always start to late season and stuff like that. But yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. So now I'm gonna go to FedEx and pick up these little guys. And then I'm gonna leave Tina here cause she is building their tank, man. And you guys know Tina gets down. She built some crazy, crazy stuff. So let's see what we got. Dude, Ace and I were uh, out at the desert the other day. We took the RC cars. I decided to take this bad boy out. That's why it looks so dirty. Man, I can't tell you guys, those RC cars, and I know this is Snake Channel and everything, but those RC cars are so freaking fun. And the way it's brought us really close, like with like Ace and just even like the whole family, because we're all, you know, taking them out there. We always play with them until we break them because they break really easy because we full send them. But yeah, it's just really cool, man. If you guys don't have any RC cars, you guys should definitely get some. All right, guys, let's go pick up these awesome, awesome reptiles. Well, I don't even know if they're reptiles. No, they're amphib. Wait, we'll see. Man, I'm telling you guys, this never gets old. I know you guys probably, you know, See me put salt town, you're probably like, man, dude, be quiet. We get it. We get it. But I don't know, dude. It's so exciting to me. And when I saw these things again, man, I was so freaking happy, man. I, you know, it's, I've been wanting these for quite some time already. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to open these things up too, man. And I already have names for them as well. 
And I'm not gonna ruin it like Tina, you know, Frog Frog, Frog Frog 1, Frog Frog 2, Frog Frog Blue, Frog Frog 3, Cat Cat, Cat Cat Man. I'm gonna give these things some crazy gangster bleep names. All right, let me go grab these bad boys. All right, we have the box right here. Man, I am so excited. I cannot even explain how excited. I'm, I'm always excited about all these things, but you know what's so funny? For all you people that are like, that have snakes or reptiles, I'm pretty sure every single one of you guys is known as the snake guy or the snake girl or the snake person. You know, wherever you go to pick up rodents or, I mean, to go pick up stuff for snakes or things like that, right? I mean, comment down below if you're a snake guy in your hometown or in your city. But yeah, I just think it's so funny. In my case, the reason why I bring that up up, there's like seven snake guys over here, but they call me the real snake guy. So, I mean, that kind of makes me cooler. <laughs> so this is totally so like different from the vlog, but um, let me take my blinker off. So there's a little spot over here uh, by my house, right in the corner. But during COVID season, a lot of people would bring up like food trucks and stuff like that, you know. So we have this very popular one right here called uh, Afro Tacos. That place right there. And um, this guy right here started pulling up the fruit, dude. Man. Guys, please, I'm very, very curious. I mean, our whole family loves, you know, cucumbers like lemon and like salt and like tahini and like tapatio and all that stuff. You know, uh, also the fruit and all those things. But are you guys big fans of that? And when you guys see them, do you guys always pull over? There's like an 80% chance that if I'm driving by and I see one of those fruit stand dudes, man, whoo, I am going to definitely get something. But yeah. Comment down below and let me know. Look what I walked into. Oh, man, they're just getting down. Cat, cat. AKA Goku. How are you, handsome little fella? This guy, the most handsome cat in the world. Uh, you are not allowed to be on this vlog because you're not 13 years old and time to get flagged and demonetized. Well, you ruined it. All right. Dude, I am all over this place with this vlog. But as you can see here, my mouth just got watery. This is the way I like my cucumbers. Uh, that's the way every here, everybody here in the family likes it. All the fruit and stuff like that. But I'm strictly just cucumbers, lemon, I'll throw some tapatio up in that bad boy. But I was raised on this. This is like literally a dessert for us. Man, my mouth is watery. Okay, so we're finally here at the house and we're done eating. So we're gonna check out the setup and then maybe you guys could take some guesses and you know, see what you guys think we got. But man, I'm telling you, they're super, super cool. And uh, here's the setup so far. Oh, cat cat, how are you? Man, I love that cat. And here it is, man. Look how cool this is. I'm so excited to put them in there. And these are the, uh, you guys remember these little guys, the white trees. These guys are such crazy eaters. They love, man, it's crazy. They make these crazy loud noises. Can't even explain. I don't even want to try to make it, but yeah. They're super happy in there, eating like crazy. And then, all right, enough talking. Let's get to this, because uh, I cannot wait. And I already told everyone that I already chose names because everyone thinks that you're like the not cool name chooser of Reptile yeah. stuff. Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna... You got it, you choose them. All right. Sure. <laughs> <Jerk. laughs> All right guys, here we go. So again, this unboxing is none other than our homie, Spencer from A Tree Frogs Collective. Um, you know, so if you guys wanna take any guesses, think it's a frog? It is not. <laughs> I didn't wanna throw that out there because you guys probably be like, oh, for sure it's a frog. But nope, it's not a frog. So excited about that. I'm more excited about the names, again. Spencer, all his information is going to be on the description down below. He's the one that we got our white trees frogs and uh, these things as well too. Look how cool it is. Oh, what are they? Okay. Dude, he is, dude, he's hooking it up, man. Oh, snap. Is that That's the bill? Put Happy 420. Oh, dang, that was yesterday. <laughs> this, this is weird. <laughs> I mean, I can't do it because it'll give me anxiety attack, but I mean, if it is, it is. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, they're so cool. Okay. I don't want to show me because I want to get them all out first. Dude, they are so big. <laughs> all right, hold on. Is that cheesecake? Huh? Is that cheesecake? No, dude. <laughs> I am so excited, Turtle. Oh no. Looks like it could be like cheesecake in there. All right, come over here. Wow, and guys, I already washed my hands and everything. I already asked if you know we could like hold them and everything, but we have some Vietnamese mossy frogs. You know, I've actually, I'm gonna show you guys something funny. I actually, I bought a poster from the US Sark auction one time, because I really love the way these things look. I think they look so amazing, man. They kind of look like a, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what are you afraid of? Say it. They look like a plant that turns like into like. 
The plant these, these guys, I mean, these guys look like chronic. Let me tell you <laughs> seriously. But look at these things. Ugh. What's <coughs> that? And why are you disgusted? You were just so excited right now. That thing just shot like. Did he gleek? This is the one of them right here. Look at him, man. Don't they look so freaking cool? I'm so gonna get made fun of. But yeah, this guy right here, I'm gonna tell you everyone's name. So this one right here, his name's gonna be uh, OG. Just straight up OG. There's a reason why, but uh, we got OG right here. Kind of looks like an avocado. Girl, I'm naming all these. <laughs> okay. All right, so this one right here. Oh, snap. You? You're killing me right now. I should be making like some mad Just, fun of you right sorry. now. No, I'm not afraid of them or anything like that. But uh, guys, uh, sorry. Hey, big dog, knock it off. Sorry. Okay, the reason why they keep on jumping off my hands because I don't want to hold them too tight. Come on. Here, here, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Look, I just don't want to hurt them, okay? So, um. Right, you're so powerful. Oh my God. All right, guys, so right here. Oh my God. <laughs> Hurry up and name him before he jumps again. So guys, so here's the other one. As you guys can see, he's a little more purple than the other one. So actually, I'm gonna name him Granddaddy Perp. So we have OG right here. Then we have Granddaddy Purple right here. Oh, GDP right there. Um, oh my gosh, these things are so cool. Sorry, I don't want to stress them out too much. Guys, I am so sorry. They're not they're not getting hurt by any like at all. Just just letting you guys know. So we have OG, we have Granddaddy Purple right here. And then, um, Dude, this guy is super bright. Yeah, my name is full lemon haze or something. Oh. <laughs> what do you think? Here, Aubrey, you want to hold him? Yeah. Okay. I thought you were going to ask her to name him. I was All like, right. not no, you can Oh him. my gosh, yep. You'll name him Frog Frog. Wow, look at that. Yeah, for sure. He's like super lemon haze or something like that. Wow, he looks so freaking cool. Man, I love these things. See, I'm just trying to be very careful with them. Want to hold him, Aubrey? Please? I'll be grab him. <laughs> <laughs> guys, so I, you guys know I, I love frogs. Put him in here, Aubrey. Just grab him, dude. Yeah, what are you guys so afraid of? Just don't want to jump and get hurt. Yeah, it's kind of hard to look. The thing is, it's like, you don't want them. Um, my, my concern is I don't want to hold them too hard and like squeeze them. That's why they keep on jumping. <laughs> Damn, we just jump right into the thing. But guys, enough stressing the things out. Tina, you're going to so make fun of me. Is that super lemon haze? So that's, uh, this is super lemon haze, uh, granddaddy purple. And this is OG. Wow. Okay, so let's go put them in their new little tanks. Again, man, big shout out to you know Spencer for A Tree Frogs Collective. Guys, please go check them out and check out all his crazy stuff. I mean, this guy has some of the best frogs ever. All right, let's come over here. I'd rather grab the Viper Ball. <laughs> we are so different. <laughs> <laughs> all right, who's going in first? No, this is Granddaddy Perp. This is OG. Oh, this is Super Lemon Haze right here. Oh, dang, you should have saved the best for last. All right, here you go. Oh, oh snap. I knew what I was like, yeah, that's my freaking home right here. Dude, you guys are so awesome, man. Go to your home. Your home, come on, GDP. Get in there. GDP, go. Go, go. Can you get in there, big dog? There you go. Perfect. All right, guys. So yeah, man, they're right here. I can't believe this again. I've been wanting these things for quite some time already. Um, but look how cool they are, man. I'm not gonna touch them too much. I know part already gonna make, get made fun of. People are gonna start, you know, say, oh, I did this wrong, blah blah blah. blah. But look, it'd be a lot different if I actually, you know, was um, how do I say, if I was hiding and I just cut it and everything. But I don't put everything on there. But turtle, where's my uh, where's my poster at? The one I bought from USR. This one? Yep. I attempted to hang it and it didn't work. A little glare, but yeah, they look really cool. Looks like yeah. a three. So I bought this two years ago at a US Ark auction because you know, like I'm, I've always loved these. I think they look freaking cool. But uh, yeah, I finally got some mossy frogs again. Big shout out to Spencer man for hooking it up. He definitely came in through as always. Guys, go give him a follow. I know I keep on saying that, but I just want to show my love back to him. Um, so, yeah, like I said, I wasn't trying to hold these things too tight. I'm not afraid of frogs. I just don't want to hurt them, you know? And like I said, I'm being honest and I didn't cut none of the things off and make it look, you know, this isn't that, but it is what it is, guys. Um, as always, man, we appreciate all the support. Till next time, peace.